Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And the 17 year old was found guilty at the Old Bailey on Tuesday the 4th of June. He was also found guilty of possessing a knife in public. This happened on the 8th of December 2018. Aaron lived in a flat on his own in Prior Street, Greenwich and the defendant stabbed Aaron twice, took multiple items from his house including knives and a Rolex watch i don't know what an 18 year old was doing with a rolex watch but they don't say it was a fake one so i'm imagine i'm guessing it's real an investigation was launched by the homicide and major crime command detectives tracked down witnesses who identified the suspect so straight away he was identified by people there who was 16 at the time of the murder as being outside the victim's third story flat at least five minutes before the offense took place and in court that is pretty much enough that they they need nowadays he was seen acting aggressively and showing off a large knife later they established that that was the knife he used to kill aaron he was threatening people to say he was going to see irish referring to the victim who was of irish descent a witness told the police that the investigation that the suspect entered aaron's flat before having a brief conversation the suspect then stabbed the victim twice in the chest and the arm then asked where's the money when he received no response he turned to the witness and asked the same question the witness did not know and began frantically searching the house as ordered by the defendant for items of value and money the defendant then left the house taking a number of them items the ambulance service was called at about 20 to 10 the witness conducted cpr but aaron was pronounced dead at the scene officers worked quickly to identify the witness it really i don't think it was a difficult case from the sounds of it there was somebody else that was there so this guy is just got angry planned to take something maybe he was drunk i don't know they secured vital evidence including stolen property search warrant carried out on the offender's home forensic work identified the victim's blood on his footwear so they got blood on the footwear cctv with him close to the scene and after the murder took place re uh, they recovered from the address a photo taken off his ipad posing with the watch belonging to the victim he took the photo of this watch that he stole Stolen from a dead man five hours after the murder and posted it on Instagram. This generation, eh? The suspect was arrested on the 11th of December. He was charged two days later. During the trial, the jury heard how violent he was. They was presented with CCTV of the defendant assaulting prison officers and, and police custody officers. So with this lad he, being only 16 at the time of the crime, you can tell, even though they haven't re released his identity, that it was a very angry angry young man the way he's lashing out in these videos it's, it's only going to go against him but he's, he's very impulsive which impulsiveness is what ends up being the downfall of a lot of people and now he's going to spend a significant amount of time behind bars for the murder of this young lad so please pay your respects to aaron warren who was, ki who was killed in december last year thank you for joining me please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe